Uzi, you ain't Cardi, show not me, never on the scene, what you mean? What is good y'all, it's Josie here coming back at y'all with another video today I'm gonna be reacting to London's Haunted Bungalow True Story Now if y'all are new, subscribe right now, turn on post notifications and backslap the like button So I'm about to start this reaction in 3, 2, 1, there we go <coughs> Bloody Monday The Haunted Bungalow Okay, bro. That, that, I already know the person who is narrating this is this is gonna be super scary. In the 1980s, there was a complicated case in a court of England where it took the judge a long time to decide whether the criminal was a human or a ghost. The story is about a businessman named Victor and his okay. wife Jenny. It had been deep. a long time since Victor and Jenny were married and they had recently moved to England. They bought an old bungalow. Be I'm not really sure what a bungalow is, but I'm guessing it's like, maybe like something underground or something. Before like Victor and Jenny started living there, the family that had resided in the bungalow died under mysterious circumstances. Oh no. People said that whoever lived in that bungalow. Is that blood on the outside walls? never survived. One night, Victor and Jenny had a fight. Victor was mad at Jenny. That doesn't even seem, oh, bro, they just looked at each other and then the dude left. That doesn't even seem like a fight. How do you look at someone and say they had a fight one night, bro? And so he went to the study and started reading a book. He found a very old book with the title, Talking to a Ghost. Why would you pick up that book? <sighs> right, it's the, it's the middle of the night and you pick up a book called Talking to a Ghost. First of all, I don't even know why the book's called that. Second of all, bro, you're done for. You're done for. You shouldn't even, bro, okay. I'm telling you right now, bro, something bad's about to happen. Victor started reading the book. While he was reading, he felt <clears throat> someone was standing beside him and staring at him. Of course, of course. Frightened, he looked around, but he couldn't find anyone. <laughs> don't, don't, don't scare me. Don't, please don't. The book read that in ancient times, people used to burn pieces of glass and chant mantras to call a ghost. He was reading the book when suddenly he heard Jenny scream. He left the book and ran towards Jenny. He found Jenny holding a photograph in her hands. Jenny couldn't stop screaming. When Victor saw the photo, it was him holding a cup of coffee in the photo. What? The photo was from two weeks ago. What's so bad about the photo? He's just holding a cup of coffee. But he didn't understand what there was to scream about. Yeah, exactly. Because Jenny wouldn't stop screaming, Victor gave her sleeping pills and put her down to bed. Yeah, maybe it was something that he saw that he couldn't see. Victor was a little anxious after reading that book, and he started roaming around the bungalow. While he was roaming around, he came to the basement of the bungalow. It seemed as if the basement had burned down long back. When he reached the corner of the basement, he found a few pieces of burnt glass. Please don't touch the glass, bro. You already read the book, don't touch the glass. Don't, bro. The glass might magically flow and then stab you in the hands. Don't, bro. Please don't. Yes. Victor felt very uneasy and thought of leaving the basement. Please, the moment yes, he turned yes. to go, he saw five dead bodies. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's five, it's five actual dead bodies. Well, did he see that at first when he came in? Because if he did it, then, bro, that basement is, is horrible. Oh, that was no. staring at him. The dead bodies were completely burnt. Oh, bro, this, this video is something else, bro. But suddenly, all of them got up. The dead bodies shouted, Run! No, bro, don't. No, 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 bro. 
I'm, bro, I'm getting my two fists, bro. That's all, bro. That's all I gotta do, bro. That's all I gotta do, bro. Two fists, boop, boop, boop. All of y'all wanna rise up from the day? Well, I got my two fists, and they about to. <clears throat> Away! You're not catching me like him. Frightened, Victor asked, "What are you talking about?" Why? Why would you ask dead bodies? What are you talking about? You should. You should have dipped. Don't. Don't even talk to them, bro. Just leave. Run. That's when all the dead bodies went mum and just kept staring back at him. I would not stare Victor at them, once again bro. inquired do that. what they were talking about, but still, the dead bodies stood still. That's when Victor realized that the dead bodies weren't staring at him, but looking at someone standing behind him. Please don't, bro. Please, bro. For the love of God, bro. I'm begging you. Please don't turn around, bro. I'm, please. Please don't turn. Please. Victor please. quickly turned behind and found a very terrifying please being don't, looking don't at me. him. Don't, don't, the don't, ghost was don't. holding the same <laughs> piece of glass. Bro, look at no, what, bro, what is that? What is that? <gasps> that Victor saw in the corner a while back. Oh my goodness. Victor at once ran away from the basement and went to his bedroom. Oh no. When he entered the bedroom, he found Jenny sleepwalking and writing something on the wall. Bro, this video, bro, home art, bro, bloody Monday, you're the goat, bro. You're the goat at making these type of videos. Victor told Jenny that they'll have to leave immediately. But bro, Jenny my heart is beating, bro. Something with a Chill piece out. of glass. My heart is beating. Oh my goodness, When Victor bro. went near her, he saw that the photo frame... You should have knocked her out, bro. Don't go in here writing stuff on the wall with glass. You should have... Mm, to be knocked her out. Fame, ...which Jenny had been looking at and all but gone crazy was broken uh, a little bit. Victor was now able to see something in that photo that picture. probably made Jenny scream. What was in it? In that what is photo, it? a spirit was it? choking Victor and Jenny was lying unconscious next to him. Jeez, now he sees it now. Now he sees... Oh, <laughs> why? <laughs> why, bro? Look at that demon behind him, bro, and then that girl's unconscious. He's getting choked by a demon, bro. I would be screaming, too. I wouldn't be screaming, but I probably would have dropped it. Victor got terrified, and he tried a lot to wake up Jenny, but she went on writing on the wall. She had written, This is the house of the dead. Please. Go away. I would leave, bro. I would leave, bro. I wouldn't stay any longer. I'm jumping out the window, and I'm gone. Hey, I'm gone. I'm gone. Victor managed to pick her up in his arms and started running out of the bungalow. The moment he reached Please. the stairs, he thought... Wait, is that what a bungalow is? Like some old house? I don't know. Go tell me in the comments if y'all know what a bungalow is. I do not know what that is. thought someone is strangling him by the neck. Jenny slipped out of the <laughs> No. Oh my gosh, bro. This video is... Oh, bro. This video is crazy. The demon just popped out of nowhere and is choking him. I know y'all see that. Look at that. L look at that. Look. Look. Look at it. Look at the demon's hands. And fell down the stairs. Victor, Jeez. too, fainted. Oh my. After a few hours when Victor regained consciousness, <sighs> he saw that Jenny's head was badly hurt. He took her to Jeez. the hospital, but it was too late. Jenny was dead, and the police oh. arrested Victor. Yo, this video is something else. Victor for Jenny's murder. Wow, y'all did him dirty. Victor's lawyer told the entire story to the judge in the courtroom. He told that the family that lived in the bungalow before Victor and Jenny had also died under mysterious circumstances. What? But when the police investigated, they neither found the piece of glass in the basement nor did they find anything written on the wall of the bedroom. Even that photo was placed properly on their dressing table. The only thing they found was the book which Victor was reading. When the judge heard all this, he came to the conclusion 
that it was all a made-up story by Victor. Oh, nonsense, bro. That's messed up. The judge declared Victor guilty, and in a few days... What? His death sentence was executed. Are you serious? Don't kill What people him? said proved to be true. No one who lived in that bungalow ever survived. What? What do you Yo. think? Yo. Did Victor really kill his wife? Yes, he did, bro. That is crazy, alright y'all, this is the end of the video, if y'all enjoyed the video, subscribe right now, turn on post notifications, backslap the like button, and I am out, peace. Can I bother can, can we tell Mr. Trainer, I think I can, pull up a water me like I'm dead, then you will vanish, my the big face, so you can't say him, oh.